Hey, Pisces, this is Soul. Pisces, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of uh, June 26th through July 2nd, 2017. The messages will also be for uh, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising. Okay, my fellow fishes, I hope that all is well. Let's get right into your uh, reading and your messages. I'm using a new um, tarot deck. It's uh, a deck by Colette Baron Reed. It's called The Good Tarot. Uh, beautiful images. Um, but as I've been saying in other video videos, it's more or less like an oracle card feeling or an oracle deck feeling. Uh, if I hold the cards up and there's a glare, I apologize for that. But uh, in person, these are some very beautiful cards. But anyway, let's begin. So your um, energy starts off for some of you with the call. She's calling the judgment to call in her deck. And this is all about awareness, something coming to uh, the light that was hidden in the dark. Also, too, it's an emphasis because it's a major arcana and it's in the upright position. Pisces hold on to um, either uh, judging others this upcoming week or there could be an emphasis where someone's judging you. Now, when I say that, <coughs> judgment doesn't necessarily always have to connotate. Or denote. Let me take that word back. I don't even know where that word came from. Or denote anything negative. Okay, the judgment could just come in as um, okay, I just lost my train of thought, but the judgment can come in as something related to um some other area or aspect of your life this is a general reading so i'm just trying to focus on why i'm hearing certain things about this judgment card but not to pass on to you that it's anything that may or may not be or related to any negativity so that I mean, it might be that that's just the message and there's nothing that's coming behind that but normally this is the awareness what's hidden in the dark comes to the um light and then it's also to the other aspect of uh, judging others or others judging you that's what this whole judgment card is all about all right so in instead of spending too much time on that let me just move along because I do feel that this week is uh, for some of you very uh, looking very promising anyway we have the queen of uh, air this is about decision making this could also represent uh, male energy so court card actual person so it could be exchanges with air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius male or female but it may be just coming in um, because if you notice the owl sitting on this queen's shoulder. So that's being um, at least the feel that I'm getting is that you're going to make a wise decision about some sort of importance coming up. OK, uh, and it may be related to some of you making a decision to do your own thing in terms of uh, entrepreneurship. This is the king of earth. And the king of earth is following the queen of uh, air where the, you know, the, the wise old owl is sitting on her shoulder, you know, and could be, you know, in her ear. Telling her that whatever this is the best move for you to make, if you want to go and run, do your own business, this could be a promotion on a job. This could be. And mind you, this is even though we don't have any cups to support us, this could be. This primarily could be just the people in your week or surrounding your energies in this upcoming week that are related to some sort of business because this is the uh, King of Earth, uh, King of Pentacles, and it's also a court card. So it's two people here. So you got a queen and a king. And when it comes to the workplace environment, it could be, um, you know, like I said, a, a promotion, a pay raise, employers being very generous, you know asking they shall receive Taurus Capricorn Virgo male or females related to this energy but I feel that there's a lot of uh, and I could be wrong Pisceans who are trying to pursue either starting their own business or they're running their own business currently and they're making good wise business decisions with the queen of uh, air in the upright that's what this is about not only determination, but making uh, choices that are going to benefit you in the long run. Friday going in, and this uh, King of Earth can also represent creditors at the bank. 
So this is a good week to apply for credit if you're you know trying to establish a, a business to get a loan. And then also, too, it's just a week of, you know, having to make good financial money moves or money. Yeah, money moves or good financial money sense or something like that. It's a good week. Friday going into the weekend now, Pisces, we have the nine of fire in the reverse. So this is not bad. This is like the ending for some of you about, you know, external or internal battles and struggles, but also too, it relates to energy. It could be just, you know, energy within that propelled you to, you know, connecting it with the uh, queen of air in terms of having to make a wise choice business decision. And then you were doing all things related to that energy, you know, trying to get things lined up. This is just in the reverse to say that, okay, it's Friday in the weekend. It's time to kick off the shoes and stuff and try to relax a little bit. Nine of Fire relates to uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. So, you know, it can, can or cannot be anything related to fire signs, but it, it's a possibility. But I think that you're looking forward because I'm uh, always pay attention to the characters in the card and in the reverse. This uh, female is looking like, you're ready for the weekend to uh, let your hair down and enjoy yourself after having to deal with um, some sort of nine of wand energies in the uh, reverse. I mean, in the upright position. Now it's like you're winding down from all of that. So it's like a business busy week. OK, wrought with a uh, very, uh, you know, very much to do with determination and making wise, either wise business choices or wise choices um overall okay judgment comes in as a you know the awareness maybe there's this aspect of the judgment card coming in and something that you know auspiciously happens that is brought to the light and it, it might be that whole um you know thing about you know an ideal being plugged into your head because this is a lot. This is a very bright card here, and it's not something that I'm seeing in terms. It's never negative, uh, but maybe there was you know something in the dark that comes to the light when you know for those people who want to start their own business or something, but you didn't have that idea, or there something didn't come to you just yet, or you're trying to figure out how to. Uh, if you want to start your own business, what are you going to do in terms of, you know, financing, marketing or whatever? But I think that's what it is. It's like a, a call. That's what it says, a call. Maybe someone receives a call about some sort of loan being approved or some sort of green light to say, OK, you can start your business or whatever. Or a call from a boss saying you got promoted. It could be so many things and I can spend the entire day trying to give you these messages but Pisces you're smart very intuitive you get the feel okay and just take the look at the cards and, and, and the messages that I'm supplying to you because I'm only giving you half of what I feel that you can uh, make sense out of these cards anyway that's um, that is your reading for the week I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead always emphasizing safety and sending out a lot of love and light to you, Pisces, until I talk to you again. Please be well. Bye.